Hey, it's Mix 94.5. Blue Light Discoing this morning on Blue Light Thursday. Phil Collins from that second solo album. Hello, it must be going. Look, we only just got here. You can't hurry. Love, so it's just gone 8.36. How do we introduce the man himself, Jamie Oliver, to Perth? Let's say the great Jamie Oliver, MBE. Welcome, mate. Good to see you. How you do, mate? Morning, everyone. G'day, buddy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I've got a coffee. It's good. Sweet. Do you know, in, in the UK, if you go to a radio station, they give you coffee. It's like poison. So thank you very much. So it's not sludge. You, uh, no, this is all right. This good. is good. This, will, this is doing the job. Oh, good. You well, you're much. welcome back any time. Now, decades ago, uh, the idea of being famous for cooking was probably pretty unheard of. Hmm. Is cooking still fun for you or is yeah. it like work? Mate, it's just the only thing I know. I grew up doing it. I started cooking when I was eight. I grew up in a pub. Dad, I didn't realise was quite unusual. He had a, a proper brigade in the kitchen. Seven chefs, all the departments, and I thought that was normal. But of course, back then, <laughs> pubs were for drinking, and yeah, then, you know, yeah. pack of crisps and a bit of, you know, that's about it. But um, no, I, I, I'm very lucky. I love it. I love it. I love traveling. I love meeting people. I don't mind who it is that I'm cooking with, whether it's kind of, you know, posh, faloiting people, or the, I mean, like literally, I was in, I just came out from Delhi, Jaipur. And uh, it was like being a thousand years back in yeah, time. Yeah. And yeah. it was the most basic, primitive cooking. Yep. Um, and it was phenomenal. So, yeah, it's an amazing, amazing thing. And, of course, you, you, your passion about food is very clear, but Italian food seems to keep coming up. And certainly in my lifetime, growing up in Australia, in Perth in the 70s, you know, it was meat and three veg. Yeah. And there was well, at least one... you had free veg. Oh, yeah, exactly. It <laughs> was all one the up same on England. Veg, just done differently. <laughs> not just bad. You yeah. know, and you might have a Chinese restaurant or whatnot, uh, but we've had the influx of, of our, our South uh, uh, Asian foods here yeah. and very lucky. But Italian, it survives. People love the cuisine. And I think it's a them. comfortable place, yeah. mate. And yeah. I think, you know, we're blessed uh, at home and here in Aussie to have, you know, the world becomes a small place. Yeah. And uh, the way both of our countries were formed, which was wave after wave of immigration in, in, in a really positive way. And often when those new waves are trying to settle, the best way that they can ever make friends with the locals mm. and make money is yeah. through their food. Yeah. So we are blessed. But I do just think that the Italian, they, they've been very good at kind of finding a comfortable, safe place. And uh, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, so, so they're not, they're not going to tell you off for saying it slightly wrong. Um, they're not going to kind of like try and kind of confuse you with technique mm. um it's a lot um, for me personally and i think it's a very aussie th i mean if you think about it the naked chef which was 20 years ago yeah i mean funny enough you know, i just come from a bedroom in the hotel and it's all my golden oldies playing <laughs> i was gonna say and believe, well, believe it or not i don't watch my own tv that's the thing so right. i haven't seen that show for 17 years Did you go, who's that kid I, i'm like yeah who is that he's like <laughs> he's more high pitched and, and looks completely different but you know i think that the recipes still stand up but it, when i look back um, Aussie was one of the first countries in publishing and broadcast to embrace me very hard. Mm. Um, and I think looking back at that young Jamie, I was everything about me was actually more Aussie than British. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it cut through Britain, but of course the first country I traveled to, which I'm, you know, I still, I still feel very blessed when I get here. I never thought I'd get here mm. as yeah. a kid. Well, you know, I never thought I'm never going to get halfway around the world and, you know, be able, but of course, you know, we're here in Perth. I'm going to my restaurant today. We're relaunching the menus. It Brilliant. just feels weird that I've got a team. Yeah. In another country, you know, yeah. it's amazing. It's funny you say that because, you know, you could argue that t the late Tony Gregg, the cricketer, was a uh, South African, but he was a, he was a pom and he used to come here and play cricket, but he played the Australian way, as I yeah, said. Yeah. He was like that. He was embraced by the Aussies as well. We like, we like someone who's real. I think it's about having a laugh, right? Yeah, absolutely. And instead of sort of like confusing everyone with craft, yep. you know, if, if flavour and enjoyment can be through bashing and cracking and tearing and getting amongst it yeah. and connecting with the food and not taking yourself too seriously, but actually, you know, whether it's a beer or a wine or, or a bit of grub, if, if it's good, it's good, right? Yeah, so true. I think that was that's what kind of got me going, and uh, and it's kind of weird now. Like we're we're broadcasting 120 countries, so when you see me, when I see myself Brilliant. dubbed into Japanese or German, <laughs> it's like I got a German mate I cooked with. He goes, mate, you got to change your voiceover, dude. Like he <laughs> he sounds like Kermit the Frog. It's like you, you got to change that one. Does lovely jubbly translate well into German? Do you know what? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no no idea. Jubbly. It's probably lovely jubbly. Yeah. Yeah. Good to Morgan. <laughs> we dropped into your uh, restaurant. We dropped into Jamie's Italian for a feed during when the week. When did you go? Uh, it was a Monday night. There was a superstar in This week? Yes, yeah, superstar oh. called Dana who looked after us. She's um, great. So it's a, that personal service is just key, isn't it? So was things. Dana all right? I'm going to see her in about... 
15 minutes. She was she brilliant. She was great. And she did ask, actually, she said uh, that she's regularly asked this by customers yeah. that they would like to know what your favourite dish is. But I know you're going in to change the menu. Yeah. So. Well, we've got new menus. We have specials every day anyway. And uh, we're sort of, you know, we've kind of got a lovely theme throughout March. We're, we're sort of, we quite like to kind of look at different aspects of Italy. So at the moment, we're looking at Sicily. Uh, we've Good. got some fantastic dishes on the menu. Uh, that we're launching today, actually. Uh, so we've got a fantastic fish aquapazza, which I can try and show Ooh, you a picture, which is going to be beautiful. Uh, some nice local fish cooked in the pan. Aquapazza means crazy water. Right. So, you know, garlic, herbs, beautiful different tomatoes, basil, a whole fish, yep. lid on top, swig of wine, and it just cook. It's just such a beautiful way to cook fish on the bone. Um, and then we've got Selena chicken, which is sort of aubergines and those slightly Arabic flavours, so saffron, you know, a uh, little bit of uh, ground coriander, Herbs, nice, lemon, uh, wine, tomatoes, and it's just the most beautiful, creamy, sort of melt in your mouth, sort of, you know, tender meat. Um, but it's different on the islands because you have got that kind of, you know, they've been invaded over the years. So you've got couscous right, okay. as opposed to pasta. Yep. And uh, yeah, look, that's the aquapazza. Look at the colours of that. For those listening oh, at home, nice. Jamie Oliver is flicking through his beautiful new book showing us the aquapazza. Oh, and thanks too for the vegetarian <laughs> and you vegan You did that in options. such a sort of Didn't slightly I? sexual voice. <laughs> well, like, you know, you, you used to the voice over on Pop Blanks. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I went there this week to your restaurant again and it, yeah, there was lots of vegetarian and vegan options, which yes. is great because lots of chefs, when I tell them I'm vegetarian, they sort of look down on me and it's it nice to know mm. that no, I think it's okay it's, to be veg it's funny like my actually my next tv show and book is all veggie and uh it's 20 years to get there yeah. um and it's also i've written everything for meat eaters it's not i'm not doing it for veggies or vegans right they're, they're going to be in the game anyway um i think we're all you know i think the next 10 years is about if you do eat meat it's about quality over quantity um, and really we're not going forward we're going back to sort of really how our grandparents were eating, mm. which is not smashing a load of meat every day, three times a day, and wondering why there's all the kind of health yeah, problems going treat. on. So, yeah, yeah, if you go to, I mean, I reckon 75% of every book I've ever written has been veggie vegan. So I think, mm. you know, it, it, of course we're doing the beautiful steaks and the fish and all that gorgeous stuff. But, you know, when you have got, in, I mean, you've got amazing produce around here. Mm. So you don't have to do that. We love cooking over, you know, smoking wood. We love grilling. At J.I., uh, James Italian, sorry, we have the Almatoni, which means under the brick. So we have these hot bricks that sit on the grill. And then when you put, you know, your veggies or your fish or mm. your meat on the grill, you put it on top. So it's been weighted down. Oh, I saw that on yeah. the menu. So, yeah, yeah, so basically it cooks right. double time, but also double juicy. So, yeah, look, with herbs and olive oil and just a bit of love, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can make some good <laughs> stuff. And with pasta, look, we're making pasta every single day. Yeah. And that means for if a veggie comes in or even a vegan, we can totally look after that. Yeah. Now, Jamie, uh, we've had some famous people here in the studio, but we Fair Dinkum, when I said yesterday that Jamie Oliver was coming in, <laughs> Man, yeah. this office, you can see them all milling out the window there. You, you, you're so welcoming and such a personable guy. How do you cope with the, the, the fame and, and all oh, that? Well, it, to be honest, I, I, I always feel like truly uh, welcomed in Aussie yeah. since day one. And um, it's never been a chore for me. Mm. It's always been a complete pleasure. Everyone's just a good laugh. Uh, yesterday we had what you call, I didn't, I've never heard it before, they go, mate, you've even got a load of tradies outside. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what tradies meant. <laughs> it means something slightly different in Britain. But, um, but uh, yeah, look, I think when, I, I actually feel proud because 20 years ago in The Naked Chef, really, if you look at all the tear sheets and the magazines and, and, the, and the newspapers, it was in code about getting blokes back in the kitchen. You know, men and women were kind of going to work. They were getting back at six, seven at night. Yeah. And blokes around Britain were looking at their ladies going, what's for dinner? And they yep. were a bit, you know, not happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, The Naked Chef was all about having a go. Everyone was welcome. But it really was about getting the boys cooking. So not when, just waiting for you. Yeah, air, look, air I mean, it's, look, it's lovely yeah. having the girls outside there now. But yeah. when, when you do get the tradies outside... That, I think that means something, yeah, um, yeah. And, and it means that the world's changing in a nice way, and, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. Oh, they yeah. can still be cooking with their high vis on when they yeah, well, I, th I think it, yeah. it, it, it was funny, if you look at the papers going back, the first couple of years, I got roughed up quite a few times, chased a few times by geezers, right. because I was getting them to cook at home. Right. But it was this really interesting... <laughs> Chased it's, by it's, geezers. No, but it's, it was so funny because it's typical men. You know what we're like, right? Yeah. We're quite simple m machines. But um, the men thought I was competition for the first two years. So I would get roughed up and chased because of that. Like lock, but, stock but, and two smoking barrels. Yeah, 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 a little bit like yeah. that. It was a few uh, touch and go moments. But there was one geezer that chased me down uh, in Covent Garden. <laughs> And he, he grabbed me, put me up against the wall and said, if I'd have seen you three weeks ago, I'd have kicked the hell out of you. But actually, I've been cooking this dish and actually I think I'll do it better than you now. <laughs> and, and basically what happened is when the, when the blokes realised I wasn't 
uh, competition, but actually an ally. Right. Uh, AKA, if I could get them a little bit more jiggy jiggy, yeah, get lucky. Um, then they yeah. like me. <laughs> so, yeah. And even today, we see it on YouTube. What we see on YouTube, we're mainly men on YouTube, which is quite unusual. And uh, and men use my content very differently. Typically, they never watch till the end. So they just and they never tell their missus that it's actually one of my recipes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so girls are really fun. They're fine going, oh, it's a Jamie recipe, but the blokes don't. So yeah. what we had to do was change the way we edit our content and put the end at the beginning because the blokes weren't ever listening, weren't ever watching <laughs> it to the end. Oh, you're gonna put the instruction <laughs> on. Perfect. Yeah. Also, there just hasn't been enough geezers or jiggy jiggy or whatever. Yeah, no. Listen, how did you describe that? Jiggy jiggy, jiggy goes jiggy. with the rumpy pumpy and the lovely jubbly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, uh, Jamie, uh, you know that annoying friend that monopolizes parties by going, "Hey, I've written a song." Yeah. And then they bore everyone. Okay. I'm sort of that guy on the have, show. Have you written a song? I wrote a song for you yesterday, which I'm not going to play all of it to you, okay. but I am going to play about 30 seconds of it. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, I'm well into this. This is like when you make someone open a present in front of you and you have to pretend you love it if oh, you don't. Nice look. <laughs> Jamie, 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 please help me get my kids to eat their veg. <laughs> Your cooking, it's beyond compare. Your Essex accent, your mop of hair. You're a sex machine in an apron, <laughs> thinks <sex> my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you cook great Yorkshire pud. Use evil Brussels sprouts for good. Jamie, are you real or just a dream? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, 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 Jamie. <laughs> You're a pub grub superhero with an MB. Yes, I am. Hey, hey. Oh, mate, that's amazing. Bless oh, you, buddy. Dude. You can strum a chord. And you, see, I told you you had a good voice. Oh, I'm a triple threat. I should like, reach out to you for those slow motion sort of pack shots of the, you know, the, the perfect chocolate cake. You know. Any time you, you got want, it, man. I'm that's available. Good. That's good. Thank you for that. I My feel pleasure. Very much, uh, very much loved with that. Oh, you are. There's a lot, a lot of tune coming out of that little banjo. Or it's not bad it. for was, a cheap little year. He was yeah. very nervous about that, so we're glad you took it well. Now, we've got something very special for you, Jamie Oliver. Oh. Just on its way into the studio. Oh, no, right something else special. Right a special Australian friend no way. is coming in oh for a cuddle. My God. And have, it is the most magnificent. Oh, my God. Looking oh, koala you have oh ever seen. God. It is a real koala. It's a real legit koala. Oh. In case you wanted to get oh. close to it one. Was a stuffed one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could do it lovely with a bit of roast tomato. Look at that. The koala, Jamie's uh, patting the koala. It's a big koala. Mate, Look at that. Yeah, unit. A I've never seen koala. one before. This you haven't? Did you, no, oh, no. it's a first. Did you just He's offer. A five year old. Cavisham. A five-year-old male koala. Did you just say Jamie Oliver can hold it? Do you want to hold a koala? Uh, well, I'm, I'll, I'll be frightened, if I'm honest. But, um, I, we don't want you to be scared. It's I mean, from Cavisham Wildlife Park. It's, it's, as long as he's a, the five-year-old male doesn't get, you know, a bit competitive. Yes. You, know, you know what happened to the geezers in England 20 yes. years ago? Yes. Yes. Covent much, Garden all over it, away. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Beat you to a pole. I mean, you might not get another opportunity to hold a koala. No, Jamie Oliver has been taught how to hold a koala. Absolutely. You've you got to take some pictures of this. No, you, this not. is a little bit out of Jamie uh, Oliver's comfort um, zone right now, the koala. Oh, oh, he's going for a oh hug. My God, he's it's a bear oh hug. My God. You become Dude, the right, tree. You get my camera. Get, uh, got, uh, this has got to go Instagram oh. on this one. So you have never held one of these, but you've never actually seen one in person before. No, no, wow. I've always, it's amazing. Hello, I mean, beautiful. it's, it's, I'm just, I'm semi nervous. You do I'm, look scared. Yeah, no, no, it's I'm, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it together. I'm looking brave in front of a man. But, um, <laughs> uh, always on but my you, ear. You do look like a natural, though. I mean, you just look like you're holding one of your bubs there. Yeah, well, I've got five kids. Yep. But I'm not prepared to breastfeed right now. <laughs> okay, no worries. <laughs> 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 my camera. Uh, you wanna, are you going to take oh. a selfie or do you want me no, to take it for you? There's, 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 um, we'll get the vision and the photos there's, of uh, there's, there's, uh, oh. there's seven million million of this on uh, online very, right. very, very soon. This is magnificent. Um, okay, so sorry about this, Austria, uh, Bridgie. Yeah, but there yeah. are some very big claws going into your chest. You're going to get a good there, angle. Yeah. Guys, guys, I'm in Australia. <laughs> I'm in a radio station, right? Mix 94.5. I've got a koala. Look at this. I've got a koala. <laughs> oh my! Lo I've got a koala. It's on me. Oh, can you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a koala, got, all right. It's amazing. <laughs> Jabby just making a little quick Instagram Sorry. post there with his oh. new friend, the koala from Cavisham Wildlife Park. Oh, <laughs> it's go. all good. He's and like, I'm gonna um, make that's that. That's amazing. Post. Thank you. Because actually, I was only talking about a koala. Yeah, <laughs> look, he's turning. Hello, oh, mate. He's turning around for a bit of a. Um, he's sniffing your ear. He um, he's real cute. He can talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, so, would with this one, where would he be living? Cavisham Wildlife Park. They're Beautiful. great folks mate. out there. That is like that's phenomenal. That's that's made my day because my kids. You know, you know, when you get to a certain age, um, uh, it's all about impressing the kids. Yeah. So currently, with my teenagers. 
like they just think I'm a bit of an idiot. It gets hard, um, doesn't it? But um, yeah. but with my eight and nine year old, this gets me massive cred. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, they just they're wishing they were here right now. Yeah. yeah. How cool is that? Thanks, man. No, that is. Beautiful. I'm just going to keep hanging on. You keep you can, hanging on. Yes. You, you keep hanging on. Uh, hey, Jamie, I'm glad you. Uh, I'll try to. You know, just looking for him to glance around and. Yeah, you just want know. the uh, the ultimate selfie. Here we go. There, there you go. Now yeah, there we go. He's, yeah, he's back in back in. Oh, right. It's yeah. terrible when koalas won't play for the camera. If you've just turned and you're wondering what's going on, yeah. Jamie Oliver is here for the first time meeting the biggest koala we've ever seen in our lives from Cavendish Wildlife Park. He's totally posing with you, though. Yeah, like he's bang up now for Now we're getting this. comfortable with each other. There's a bit of fer- pheromone transaction. <laughs> there is a bit going on. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's quite into my creed. I think he wants to drag and, uh, you with us. He's kicking off a little bit of a smell. <laughs> he to but, drag um, you back to Cavisham with him. Um, so is this... Uh, I'm presuming it's normal for Aussie kids to have seen. Oh yes. No, it, it's well, not, well, you know, not, not that not that close. If you go to I mean, Caversham or the uh, the zoo, there's a few. Uh, but you no one would, you wouldn't just walk up to one and pick it up. No, would you? no, they're not quite generally. aggressive. No, are they? <laughs> We're sort of raised to not touch the wildlife because oh, right, they so can be is. quite aggressive. So just because you've 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 softened him up. Yeah, so to speak. We've been breeding koalas for 25 years. Okay, and, and because he's a Jamie Oliver fan, yeah, oh, he's, he been, he's been yeah. fed as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we and he's been twice. fed as well. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> little chunk out of Oliver. Yeah, a bit of a yellow. I would yeah, have to marin- marinate myself up a little bit. <laughs> he uh, he particularly likes looking at the the, the naked chef in Germany. <laughs> yeah, <It's> his favourite. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, get along so, to Jamie's Italian. Jamie cooks Italy it. feast in March at what's Jamie's Italian. You can find out more at uh, jamieoliver.com forward slash Italian forward slash Australia. What an Australian visit, Jamie Oliver. Mate, great this has made my day. Honestly, this is this is great. So First, we go through with the coffee. Now we give you the koala. I just need a roo now. I need a kangaroo. <laughs> oh no, we can take. You can leave the crocodiles out though. You no, no, leave no. It there. <laughs> Someone call Skippy, will you? Yeah. Thanks, man. Good so to see good you. So good to meet you, buddy. Oh, mate, it's a pleasure.